Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Just want to do a quick video on SoFi. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I also have a Discord that I'm trying to grow. So if you guys are interested in sharing ideas and getting some of my alerts, definitely come check it out. So SoFi is currently up 2.54%. If we take a look at a one-year chart, we see that it is a very beautiful chart. We did try to break 2826 back in February, couldn't, came back to a support of $15. Tried again, break that 25, couldn't, came back down to $15, bounce back up, tried to break again, couldn't do it. And now we are back to a very strong support. Today, I was able to execute a trade. This is a put credit spread it's a bullish trade i am selling the 14 strike and buying the 12 strike so i only have one of these if the stock does continue to go down what i'm going to do is close out the 12 puts and just ride the 14 put so that will just be a cash secure put at the time if sofi is below 14 because i don't mind owning shares at 14 dollars so that's why i only placed one spread take a look at the news here yesterday december 20th sofi technology shares are trading higher after citigroup initiated coverage on the stock with a buy rating and announced a 20 dollars price target so there's still a lot of upside to sofi I do have shares as well so far and some leaps that I have bought a while back. Let's take a quick look at this article and it's titled Despite headwinds, SoFi's quarter three earnings were impressive across the board. SoFi has been overlooked as a potential disruptor. The company's recent quarter three earnings report illustrates that it is on a mission to revolutionize the banking industry. Leading up to quarter three earnings, SoFi was given three buy or buy equivalent ratings from equity research analysts. As a result, SoFi stock price increased nearly 60%. Research reports were issued in September to quarter three earnings in early November. SoFi set a new quarterly revenue record in quarter three 2021 with $277 million in net revenue representing 28% year-over-year growth. Although the company was originally a landing business, SoFi has invested heavily in product development in an effort to build a mobile-first super app. As of quarter 3, 2021, SoFi's member base with 9 million users, a total of 4.3 million products were being used by these individuals. The fact that SoFi's product growth exceeded its member growth in absolute terms in the third quarter could indicate high product satisfaction and a greater willingness to adopt additional products. SoFi's lending business accounted for 80% of its total revenue in 2020, while financial services and technology products accounted for less than 20%. However, through quarter three 2021, lending now comprises roughly 75% of total revenue, while financial services and technology have increased to nearly one quarter of year-to-date revenue. SoFi has also achieved record volume in both personal and home loans. However, student loan volume remains depressed by the extension of the CARES Act on federal student payments. Given the economic headwinds the company faces in its lending unit, the growth in additional product offerings and particularly encouraging. In quarter three, SoFi recorded a $30 million gap net loss, an improvement of nearly $13 million from its quarter three 2020 net loss of $42.9 million. SoFi's ability to trim its losses may illustrate that its flywheel strategy is paying off. Morgan Stanley was one of the three investment banks that issued a buy or buy equivalent rating. A part of the thesis is a prospective approval of SoFi's bank charter, which Morgan Stanley expects in early 2022. A bank charter would make it easier for SoFi to partner with other companies and offer sweep accounts. Morgan Stanley noted that SoFi 
Congress's approval of its bank charter could boost total revenues by 10% within its first year. These are all great news for SoFi. I am very bullish on SoFi and I do see a price target of at least $35 by the end of next year. Let me know if you guys have been buying the dips on SoFi and definitely come check out the Discord. Hope to see you there.